Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough with Drift Bim Wow, I'm just bowling everyone over. <laughs> with Drift Blim Flight back at our disposal. I decided to warp over here to the Verdant Court and chat with Superior. Thanks to you all, the Dark Vortex has disappeared. The Arbor Area bathes in warm sunlight once more. Everyone at the Berry Party was grateful for your work. And what do you need today? We're looking for Darkrai, who jumped in the Dark Vortex. Is that so? You want to help Darkrai? One who caused all that trouble? I am impressed by the maturity the four of you show. Well, finding a Pokemon sold up at the Dark Vortex is an impossible task. What? But if you wish, why don't you try asking Reshiram from the legend? Queen Superior, do you know how we can meet Reshiram? Hmm, here's how the story goes. First, collect 20 of the shining feathers called Fast White Quills. That's what you need them for! Then take them to the arcane area and put them for the dais there. This is said to open the path to Reshiram's location. The arcane area is beyond the bridge, just past the stump, right? Correct. The bridge has been broken, but I asked Timber to fix it. Yes! Alright, so... Remember the spots to the left of where we first met Snivy over here? That bridge is now fixed! Yep, that means I can also get that vast white quill hanging out uh, on top of the broken bridge, which is now not broken. Um, but I think since I'm passing through here, I'm gonna go and explore Ye old Cave over here, since we still have Pokemon to get around here. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, this place, pretty cool looking. It's got a different song as well. It's like a transition between worlds just by going through this door. Look at this. Now we're back. And we're back in the cave. In Spooky Town. <laughs> it's like a very, very slight gradient between this texture and the cave texture anyway. <laughs> Let's go inside and start exploring this. Oh, would you look at this? We got a little shroomish here. Whoa, jeez! That thing just popped out of nowhere. Well, fell out of nowhere. Brought us back from Wish Park. Thank you. After all, the Arbor Area is the best place to live. Hello. You're not that dangerous. Unflamerily your face. Battle me. Yeah, I'm using the right Pokemon for the job. Let's begin. Bring it on. So I got a Steel type here. I'm just gonna do a little fire attacks and it's gonna do a pretty good amount of damage, yep. <laughs> Just gonna let it do its thing. Yeah, I'll get that of Woo Bath in a minute. Yeah. That was quick. <laughs> it's not doesn't have all that many attacks and it's not all that tricky, but eh, got a friend that You're the shining collectors, aren't you? How do I know? Even I hear rumors. Be my friend. Okay. Woo! So Pharaoh Thorn is now friended. Uh, where is that little bat? Hey, can I call you down? Gotta, gotta see you first. You gotta be in range. I see that vast white quill. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, did you come from outside? Let's play chase. I always play chase with my siblings, so I'm gonna play with somebody else for a change. All right, I suppose, even though I'm using the wrong Pokemon for the job. <laughs> Just do something a little bit different here. Are you gonna move? No, oh, okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> anyway, you have to wait until it lands. Oh, by the way, I'll show you this here. Uh, going here where the Vast White Quill is. You cannot collect the Vast White Quill, but you can push it around. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just like everything, you can't actually collect stuff in the middle of other events, like chases or battles and stuff. It's, it's weird, but yeah. <laughs> so those Vast White Quill... Ugh! Are, are actually movable. That, no, no, wait, are you that, which one? Are you this one? Are you the one? Yeah, you're this one, okay. Land, land, land. Oh wait, you're not that one, you're this one. Because the camera is focusing on you. Ah! So many woo bats. Eh. Come on, land, 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 or won't you land? Oh, maybe you don't land. Oh wait, you do, oh, no, you do come close to the ground, but that's not, that's not helpful. <laughs> I'm too too small. My legs are too stubby. Okay, maybe it's not all that 
easy with uh, Tepic like I thought. I mean, it's a pretty slow bat, but it doesn't get down to the ground uh, like I thought it would. Whoops, wrong button. I'm gonna switch Pikachu because it can do stuff and stuff to flying enemies. Well, not enemies, uh, flying Pokemon. No Pokemon is an enemy, come on now. All right, let's get a little zappy zap charged up. I'm going to... I win. <laughs> See, I can't do that sort of thing with Tepig. Um, who caught me? That's too bad. But it was fun. Come play with me again sometime. And Woobat is friended. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go get that. Sorry. <laughs> let's get the vast white quill that we pushed around a little bit there. And continue our trek through the cave. Um, I wonder if others have something else to say. Because there are a couple of Woobats in here, as you've seen. Mm. I don't know. They, I don't really feel like getting them knocked down to the... Oop knock down to the ground or calling them because calling them is kind of wonky uh, hmm, hmm. anyway what's this chili crystals good for drinks look at this look at this right here e. bronzong i got buried while i was taking a nap seems a long time has passed <laughs> it had to have been a really really long time the pattern i'm proud of is covering with mud if you don't mind, will you rinse it off with water? Alright, so let's just get out our bubbly friend here. Yeah. Oh! Hmm, I appreciate it. Thanks to you, I feel refreshed. Yeah, Ronzong is friended. Anything else to say? If I carelessly fall asleep, thousands of years might pass. So I'm taking a walk to keep myself awake. Good idea. <laughs> If you fell asleep for any longer, I might not have found you underground there. Anyway, I think that's all the Pokemon in the cave here. I'm gonna, uh, hold on, I'm gonna check the friend list. Arbor area... Wait, who is... Oh yeah, Superior. Still doesn't want to friend us, and this Pokemon we haven't met yet, but we will very soon. Uh, okay. It's right, ac right across the bridge that is directly outside from here. So we go, by the way, notice that this path um, goes underneath another path above ground. Yep, nice little detailing there. Don't, don't uh, give me little shockwaves while I'm passing by you, thank you. So, okay, I'm gonna go... Uh, oh, wait, wrong turn, why did I go this way? <laughs> now I'm going to go this way. And around the corner, we're going to meet someone new. Well, not this. I'm fixing the bridge right now. Wait a little bit, okay. What? Babe, I can't cross right now? Disappointment. Sorry, I'm gonna go talk to Embor. Joy Seeds. Those are an awesome item in the Mystery Dungeon games. Embor looks like it's hanging up over here. So, yeah, it's not over at the Coliseum. It's at Rockridge Fort, despite... Oh, sorry, Victini. It's over at the Rockridge Fort because... The, um... Coliseum tournament, I guess, isn't going on here. Oh, it's you guys. Thanks to you, the Craig area is exciting and lively today, too. And, Bor, there's something we want to ask you. Ah, so it's finally time to tell you. The connection between courage and fake beards is this. You see, I used to be a big wimp, and what? That's not it. Then, what do you want me to ask? <laughs> We're searching for a dark eye. You see, so that's it. Hmm. <clears throat> Dark Vortex swallowed Darkrai, so finding him sounds difficult, but, well, it's impossible. But do you want to give this a try? Well, we heard it's impossible from two Pokemon that seem to know a lot, but we'll try it anyway. <laughs> is that some kind of orb? This is the Deep Black Orb. It's been passed down in the Craig area for generations. It's said that if you break the orb, you can retrieve what's inside. If you bring that item to the dais in Wish Park, you can meet Zekrom. Many powerful Pokemon have tried to break it, but no one has succeeded. So I got the Deep Black Orb. I tried to break it too, but I couldn't do it. Hmm, it's pretty clear you're the strongest one among us. If you can't do it, we can't either. <laughs> this orb is said to be made of the hardest substance in this world. If we told Venuculus that, he'd be thrilled to research it. 
That's it. Let's ask Ranunculus. He might be able to think of a way to break it. Alright, so we have to cross a bridge. We gotta talk to Ranunculus back at Wish Park. Man, we've got stuff to do. Did you fix the bridge now? Really? Well, to Ranunculus we go. Isn't it nice to be able to just fly right over here? Whenever you please now, rather than having to climb across that dang scaffolding. Open! Open! There we go! <laughs> no wonder if there's like a loading screen between doors like the Metroid games or something, which is why it doesn't open right when you get to it sometimes. I don't know. Anyway! Ranunculus. Hello there, everyone. I figured out Wish Park and the mystery of the Dark Vortex. So now I'm looking for something new to research. Do you have anything interesting? Why, yes! Got just the thing for you. This is the deep black orb. It's supposed to be harder than anything else in the world. Do you know how to break this? Ooh, let me see. Yes, why? This does seem interesting indeed. I'll have a look. Do, 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 do. Transition. Thank you for waiting. My analysis is complete. Chances are I can make this make a machine to break this orb, but to operate it, I will need an incredible amount of energy. Energy equivalent to the energy in wind, thunder, and land itself. Do you have any idea where you can get that energy? Even Pikachu's Thunderbolt isn't enough energy. Wind and thunder, huh? Now that you mention it, the core area has a legend of a Pokemon that causes powerful winds. Samurai might know more about this legend. Please acquire that energy. Meanwhile, I will start working on the machine. I got anything else to say while you're working on it? You still don't have enough energy to shatter that orb. Alright, so I'm gonna go fly over to Samurott, and I'll see you there. Oh, apparently I didn't, um, use this drift limb stop before. Oh yeah, you fly right through the ceiling. Well, not through the ceiling, there's an opening in the ceiling to fly out of, because the Scientorium is a, um, I guess you could say restricted access area, uh, other than a few places, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, it's it's inside a building, basically, is what I'm saying. And yeah, I, I, I don't know actually what I'm saying. Anyway, Samurott, we are here. We are fluffy. We are ready to talk to another Pokemon with dot 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 above their head. What? A Pokemon that whips up the wind? That would be Tornados. He's very wild. Legends say an ancient area keeper seal his power in a shrine, but you can chant a spell to call him. I think it goes like this. When the wind whips past with a wild whoosh, Tornados is here. Thank you, sir. Alright, so we now know the chant, but we don't know where the shrine is. Well, you've actually got to look for the shrine yourself. And you might actually have a clue as to where the shrine is already. Remember up those ledges that we see straight ahead, there was a boulder? Oh yes! Oh ho ho yes! That is the place. Well, it's blocking a cave path to the place and... Uh, oh, I shouldn't switch to Tepig so early. I need Snivy to get up there. And then I use Tepig to break open ye old boulder up there. La 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 la. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. And we're here. Now we switch. The pig. And go 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 go. go. All right, new stuff. We haven't seen this place before. Yep, it's this ledge overlooking the beach area. And here's the shrine with a vast white quill. Yeah, baby. Uh, anything else to see around here? I don't really think so. Other than uh, the shrine, I've probably switched to, um... You probably. Alright, let's chant. Let's chant the spell. When the wind whips past with a wild whoosh, Tornadoes is here. What have we done? I thought I was sealed in the shrine. Apparently not. This is pretty speedy. Woo! All right, legendary Lakitu. So you're the ones who called. 
What in the world do you want? You cause amazing rinse, right? We need your powers. Can you come with us to the Scientorium in the tech area? Hmm, I don't mind the compliment, but there's a better way to ask. How about it, Runt? Can you make your request in the right way? Please, Mr. Tornadoes. Okay, well then, let's have a little competition. No one has called me in a long time, and I've been bored. If you can catch me in chase, I'd be willing to help you out. How about it? Alright, let's do it. Actually, I thought you were in a battle, but eh, whatever. It'll be fine. So, we go over to... Whoa. A special chase. Around the lighthouse. Or a windmill. <laughs> oh no, you don't. No, you don't. No, not gonna happen. Too easy. <laughs> Pikachu is fast enough to catch up to him. Hey, that was a lot of fun. I'll help you out. Thank you, Mr. Tornadus. I don't really like working alone, though. But wait, I have an idea. If you need amazing power, my friend and I should work together. It's not as amazing as my win, but Thunderous' as lightning isn't bad. Go get Thunderous from the shrine at the Coliseum. There's a spell to call him, too. Of course, here you go. With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here. Well, I'm off to that old Scientorium then. Okay. And the legendary Lakitu is befriended. Uh, let's, before we move on here, let's see if we can close up the cove area aside from that, I, mean, I can't get Samurai just yet, area leaders, but I'm, and, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, Whaler. There's another Pokemon we haven't met. I think it is back at Cove Town, so I'm gonna go cut over to that. Okay, I'm gonna end my cut here because I kind of forgot where the Pokemon was. <laughs> I think you actually access it through here and jump down to a back alley. Yeah, this is it right here. Well, somewhere around here. Uh, if it's actually here, maybe it's not here yet. Oh, no, it's here. Look at this. Look at this zigzag. La, 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 la. I am a zigzag. This could only mean that it is one type of Pokemon. Kegleon! Hey there, you finally noticed me. And you automatically befriend that because you noticed it. <laughs> I've been watching all of you since you stepped into the cove area. I've been gathering information about you. You, know, you like Google? Like some sort of stalker? I'll oh, forget it. <laughs> uh, sure. This is it. So here is Kecleon's log. So we have here Kecleon's records, Shining Collectors, which is our name. <laughs> Switches, this is the times we switch Pokemon through. I've only switched 81 times, it's kind of surprising. Um, all the Pokemon we've befriended thus far, all the times we've ridden on Drifblim, the photos we've taken, etc., etc. We've still got nine more Vast White Quills to get. We're getting there, we're getting there. Got quite a bit of berries, huh? Uh, just one tray, don't really need Meowth all that much, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not, I'm not gonna really fail those, come on now. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of statistics here that you probably didn't even know was being collected on you here. Uh, if you go here specifically, you'll see individual um, stats for each of the Pokemon that you have, like uh, greetings. That's when you hold the A button to call a Pokemon to you, or just say to hot, uh, just say hi, uh, and stuff like that. There's actually um, little awards that you can get for all sorts of different stuff and stuff. And yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of these. It's kind of, it's kind of all the same overall, in because you know it's 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 tailored to their attacks, but uh, yeah, otherwise it's generally about. Um, how things are with each of them. Uh, so I'm gonna go back over to Kecleon Awards, like see right here. Uh, these are a bunch of stuff that you can do to, I guess you could say mega 100% this game, but a lot of the stuff is really, really crappy because it's so grindy. Not, not with the friends. Friends are cool because there's different challenges for each of those. Get all the 40 Vast White Quills, another challenge you'll, um, I mean, that I'll eventually get. Max power. This is if you upgrade all the Pokemon to the absolute maximum 100% of all their moves and stuff like that. Their dash and, yeah, collect, 
collected all the collection items. This is if you find this stuff on the ground. This is pretty random. So again, it's another grindy thing. Explore the lighthouse stump, cave, and lab a lot. Those are those side-scrolling um, areas. And if you just keep doing them, you'll get this. And it's another grindy thing. It's because you only have to go in them like twice each. And they want you to do it a lot. I don't know how much is a lot, but you just keep doing them and then you eventually get this award. Uh, collect 50,000 berries, more grinding! Sort of more grinding if you're not all that much into photography or, yeah. <laughs> um, scattered plants, I mean, uh, scatter plants 100 times, hit Pokemon with Dash 500 times. It's just so, so much stuff and I don't really have to cover this, I feel, because it's it's gonna be really boring for me to do all this stuff since it would be off camera and you you know the answers to what you're supposed to do if you want to get this sort of stuff like a hundred goals is if you knock a ball into a net to get um, a prize from it like berries rank first in all the attractions that's to get the highest score uh, there's actually a scoreboard now that's unlocked for each of the uh, attractions in Wish Park uh, won all battles, including battles in the battle tournament. That's that's going to happen um, through the course of this. So this isn't exactly grindy to be all Pokemon who play Chase. Again, not grindy because that, it's associated with um, friends with everyone there. And how f how far do we have here? Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Rank for uh, all battles, defeat all Pokemon in chase, win all battles in the battle tournament, that shouldn't be a problem. Greet Pokemon 100 times, grindy. <laughs> Friendship power exceeded 50,000, yep. This is, oh, I already got this one here at the Craig area. That was when I um, befriended most of the Pokemon there and, you know, went through the portal. See, it's just all, all stuff that's, oh, we're done. But it's, yeah, it's terribly, terribly grindy and it's, it's just there to increase the game's replay value, I guess you could say. So, do that stuff if you want, but you already know how to do that stuff. So, if you really feel like tolerating, collecting all the stuff like that, go right ahead. But I don't have to cover it in this walkthrough, because you know how to do it. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here, because there's still much, much more to see. I know I wanted to show you... The uh, last Pokemon in the friend list here at the Arbor area. Uh, because there was that mystery Pokemon after Whirlipede. It's Scoliopede, actually. And it's across the bridge that uh, Timber is fixing. I thought I'd be able to show it this part, but it just hasn't fixed the bridge yet. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll do that later on. Uh, as for right now, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts.